Hello, this is Kirby at Nervy Studio. Today I'm going to do a painting of this Dalmatian. Uh, what you can see here is my initial sketch, just done in charcoal, which I've then sprayed with fixative to make sure it doesn't the charcoal doesn't get into my paint in any way. I'm going to do a monochromatic painting today. That is one that doesn't have uh, more than one colour. Um, I'm just going to be working in different shades of uh, burnt and raw umber, together with a little bit of uh, white to brighten up the tones for the lighter areas. And I'm actually going to use a little bit of green just for the darkened areas, which should create a painting which is overall uh, one colour, and then the lights and dark shows us the shape of the Dalmatian's face. Um, I'm going to try and keep this quite loose with my brush marks. I'm not going to spend too much time making it nice and smooth, keep this nice and active. And uh, while I'm getting on with this painting, here is some information that I found out while researching Dalmatians this week. With a pleasant temperament, friendly, not shy or hesitant, free from nervousness and aggression, lively, kind, loyal, independent and easy to train. The Dalmatian likes water and outdoor activities. The first recognised image of a Dalmatian appeared in an altar painting called Madonna with Jesus and the Angels in Veli Lošin and in a fresco painting in Zalstrog, both in Croatia, and these date from 1600 to 1630. The breed is named for the historic province of Dalmatia in the eastern Mediterranean region of modern Croatia. The first written description in Church Chronicles of Bishop Peter Bakic in 1719 named it Canis Dalmaticus, or Dog of Dalmatia, and described it as being four to five spit hammers tall, which is Latin for spans or hands. If anybody's interested, that makes it 1.7 feet, and with modern dogs being described as growing between one and two feet tall, not much has changed with the breed in the last 300 years. In 1771 came the first written use of the word Dalmatian to describe the breed. And in 1790, the writing of Thomas Berwick refers to the breed as a Dalmatian or coach dog. It was actually once the breed arrived in England in the 18th century that it was quickly recognised as being the best breed to act as a coach dog not only effective at the job, but also elegant and beautiful to look at. Coach dogs were used by the wealthy to run alongside their carriages to protect them from bandits and highwaymen. They would attack any unknown horses, giving the human guards time to react. Coach dogs were kenneled in the stables and bonded with the horses from puppies. They would guard and protect the expensive horses on the road as well as when at home in their stables. Some have commented that to this day, Dalmatians have a great affinity with horses. One interesting use of coach dogs was by the fire service in the UK and most notably in the United States. The Dalmatians would accompany the fire engine to clear the streets in front and guard the equipment. It is for this reason that many fire departments still keep a Dalmatian as a mascot and the breed has become well associated with the fire service. Welcome back. So here's the finished painting. I hope you like it. I've kept the brush marks quite loose as we discussed beforehand. I've smoothed out the background. That should help the uh, image of the dog come forward more in the composition. And it's generally a composition I quite like because of the strong diagonal. This painting, along with others, will be for sale in our eBay shop. Uh, should you be interested, they tend to sell out quite quick. So get on there early to avoid disappointment. Otherwise, you can commission us to do a painting of your pet or an animal that you like. Uh, if you want more information on that, or if you just want to see more of our, our paintings, more of my paintings, then you can go on to www.nervystudio.co.uk where you can find all the information you need about commissioning us or find out where else you can buy our paintings. Um, I'll be back with another video soon. So for now, hope you've enjoyed it. Bye-bye.